than ever before. And finally, food and foam are getting really hot. We're not only a new food and foam from a brand new company on CNET, but they're a for food and foam. We're not on the 25th. The 25th of November, on November in China, we're gonna try and get a high. Again, let me on the TGTG show and the and podcast. It couldn't even have no advertisement, no sponsor, and no TGTG store information. Moving on to Techno, Bungie that assembled a gaming community in the light of destiny to take part in the Bungie Darnation iPad for Kid event where I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna donate for, and the Overwatch community is going mad. Is there gonna be a Overwatch two? Or we did not, so we're gonna go over our prediction. We're gonna go over prediction and finally we're gonna get our opinion on what do for and not pawning anything. And then some brand new news. Are you gonna donate and help mm, the YouTuber community like Guardian the Gamer, Mid the and LTT to help plant tree? The one dollar you don't need mm, in one tree. So let get begin. Could it eat? Mm, they know and no sponsor on um, TGTG store new mm, information. Information. Mm, there will be no chat or super chat. And I'm your point, and your third point we hold got it in the game, and we haven't have got any point, setting point, setting point we hold, or um, any guess. So, like that. So, um, hey, are you an YouTuber? So, a bit leak come for the YouTuber now that I think he posted an article on Reddit with a on Reddit or four chan with a brand new account. A product he, in video, when they're releasing a new product, he pray a not paying tech YouTuber to do spawn a review or unboxing, but paying tech YouTuber mm, to have literally bots it now he didn't say bots it oh yeah, on the new graphic he just said bots it so i'm guessing bots it on mm, intel product the um the bots it the graphic car and nvidia is paying the tech It's Nvidia Nvidia it paying the tech community to uh, China bots and I can confirm from sourcing in the in the way like low spec gamer LTT I mean my set and Steve game with me that Nvidia is not paying money to hard in video boxes. Like, like, gee, how, why would we do that? Why would I do that? Is it a product? Like, it's better in the tech world. We are gonna talk about it in, in the net episode, and in the net topic. But it, the, the, in the computer component hardware, it's not like, okay, I'm a cop fan. You know, Battlefield is better than you. Or a bit up here, like Battlefield over what Rainbow Six Siege does in it. You know it better. I'm a cop fan. I'm just gonna get caught because I'm a fanboy. No. 
Oh, Ian you know the Ian you know anybody better. Ian you know Samsung, Huawei, the Google Pixel 4. Anybody better with wire charging, with the wire charging, and the screen fingerprint sensor could the migration are better. Oh, yeah. Um, multiple ways to unlock my phone with fin pat, with fingerprint pat, pat and under order. And you're gonna get an iPhone and be loyal to iPhone. No. In the tech community, we have some. In the component community, we have some called fight to perform. So it like, you got 300. You don't get what other Intel they got for 300 because you like Intel. You get what other best for 300. Not what Intel they got for 300. But what are the best for 300? Whether that by AMD or Nvidia. And so it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense from my standpoint. Why would Nvidia pay Tech Newton just to have boxes in the background of the video? Now, it just doesn't make sense. Now, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Um, um, I'm not saying Nvidia shouldn't work with Tech YouTuber or Tech YouTuber shouldn't allow the Nvidia to work with. Because to be honest, um, we need more of the company to work with Tech YouTuber. Working on the new two games, it not only it not only hard, but also depend depend what the video like depend on the trending on the two algorithm. Depend what it like. YouTuber don't get paid that much. Or they do. And even in a company, a big company, I know like RTT or um, Steve from Tech Review or loads of that game. Or any other big tech YouTuber. Um, even the mobile, like mid the MOBA, mid the MOBA. Android Sensor and CNET and all that. You know they got large number of followers. YouTube is not a play to be. You're not gonna be like right. I'm gonna come to work like any day, seven day a week, and I'm gonna get um. I'm gonna get two thousand pound a month. And that'll be two, and then two thousand pounds. And then I'm gonna get uh, one thousand pounds to spend on me myself. Um, to spend on me myself, after all my bill and all my subscription. It will probably be more than. But that is the tech news. The tech world is not like that. You're always not gonna know what you're gonna make at the. So we. Tech YouTuber need to like Nvidia, AMD, and Intel to do work with Tech YouTuber. Um and do spawn a video because and provide review copy and review some of uh, the latest graphic cards so they can review it. Uh, because the simple is simple is either. In a, a iPhone, a iPhone is what we review all the graphics are for two thousand pounds is what we review. Technically, we can't always afford two thousand pounds to spend on one product, and and if they do, they have to go right. I'm spending two thousand pounds on this one product, but in that video, would I make two thousand pounds? Or no, would I get over two thousand pounds? Like it need, I need to spend two thousand pounds and make over two thousand. So why would Nvidia from a bigger better go? You know what? We're gonna get the bitty tech YouTuber, the bitty tech YouTuber, and you know what? We're gonna pay them maybe sixty, thirty, eighty grand. Or whatever, should to have the in our box. Like, why would they do that? Um, that is stupid. 
Um, I swear it was the, what, the one show from RTT on the, because the, the, it's so funny, they call it, they call it the tech contact and all that in, in that book, yeah. I just don't understand why, why, and um, why Nvidia do this from a financial perspective and from a tech perspective? Why would Nvidia make the car and give them for free? I don't know, but um, it just seems sort of done me. I, I, it just, out of anything, uh, out of them, they do a massive deal with game company to give free game away when you purchase in like NVIDIA car or pre-order the, or maybe you got a CPU getting a free graphic car. But why would NVIDIA just play technically to support about this? To have boxing in their video, even though the video is not about Nvidia, that is rubbish. Um, so yeah, that is a complete rubbish. So let me on to the next topic. Um, so Inter is slashing prices. Um, it's slashing prices. Um, it's slashing prices. Um, it. Latin prices, um, it's Latin prices compared to in to cut cards on them to um throw the competition gap against Nvidia and AMD. So now for 10th generation, now the eighth generation core is 550 pounds. That is decent, and. And now the Nvidia Inter two five two thousand dollar car in now nine hundred and fifty what it meant to be. Where it just it it shouldn't have been that way in the way and to be honest in my opinion then I'm not like I'm not knowledgeable of graphic car but it should be that way in the end. And the thing is Point to performance. More competition is key. Ten generation can uh, you what in what Inter is trying to do where I see right now is uh, where I see right now it lower all it lower all the Inter graphic car so completely lower all the graphic car like lower the prices. Then they can put pressure on their competitor um, to lower all their Intel cars. But also, also release the 10th generation of their chipset for the 10th generation of computing hardware palette. Release that at a low monthly fee. Release that at a low cost. Then, People will buy Inter because it is that it's something like maybe 800 and AMD is something like 1500. You're gonna buy Inter because it's cheaper. Because it like, it like, eight, it like something like um, 700 pounds cheaper. You don't, you don't go, oh, I'm gonna get Inter, even though know you're paying the same amount but you're getting less. No, you're gonna you're gonna pay I don't know what happened there. You're gonna pay quite a performance. You're gonna in a graphic car two hundred. But the another graphic car what two hundred but it is better than you. You're gonna pay the two hundred but you're gonna pay the two hundred and get the better one, not pay the 200 because you love a certain product. That not how it worked in the tech space. So yeah, the slouching price it worked. To me it's okay and it made anything better for tech reviewers, for YouTubers, for average consumer, for tech better, 
it just made anything better because because you it just made anything better because it's gonna be cheaper, lower efficiency, and anybody is gonna get a hand on these products easier and faster, and it 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 will be better than anybody. Like I said. Like I said, you don't, you don't go A and D, you don't go into the A and D just because you love one. You go there because one is better, one is better performer for the same price. It's called price of performer, not, not, it's called price of performer, not, um, price of fanboy performer. No. It's called fighter performance, not quite to fan performance. So yeah, um to be honest A and D have been doing a lot better in the gaming space right now. I do have to say that they've been turning up to gaming events like E3, GameCon and and Intel have been just been not there man. Just been not there, you know what to say, just been not there. Um, but at the end of the day, I at the end of the day, buying the component. I don't buy one. I don't go right. I'm gonna buy Intel. So I don't say. Uh, I don't look at it like I look at when I'm getting an Android phone or I or ever. Um, and I don't. And I don't defend. Like I did. I don't have the same wall like I do with iOS and Android. I go look. I got I got 350 or 500 or grand or one or 500 Canadian rupees, and I go look. Intel got the better performance again A and D. So I'm gonna buy Intel. That should have had the tech they were not. I'm gonna buy. Inter because I'm a stupid fanboy and into and a fanboy and I will never go to my A and D. They're horrible. They don't allow me to do this and they don't allow me to do. No, I buy Inter because Inter get me the better performance for the price for the price and that why I buy Inter because it will get a performance for the price and that that the price of performance the situation price of performance not I'm gonna buy this chip because I'm an A and D fanboy or Nvidia Shia fanboy or something like that. No. I'm gonna buy this chip because it's better for my money. Because it's the better product for the money I got. Um, and that, and that the price to performance, the um, ratio. That what price to performance is. Learn, learn from somebody. So yeah, um, Intel locking their prices on other pods and getting ready for 10th generation. 10th generation will be even affordable and even cheaper. Well, that is just to read it across the board and to, to read it to all tech head to all gamers, and yeah. Um, and I want to salute that and I want to say thank you for that because that is a completely, completely better to order. Um, and I want to really thank Inter for doing that, and yes, and that completely better across the board. So I like that Inter are doing. I like that Inter are doing it. More competition on the country. More, m more competition. Prices come down better for the consumer, better for the tech, better, better for anybody. We, we get lower chip but high performance and that what um 
That what we um, what been on. So we so Oh, we need to take a look at that further. So before we go into the the gather info with that Um I don't know our review will may consume, I don't know what we're doing. And but all I know all the product have been taken back uh, to look and I said them for a feedback I know they done that with my product uh, TT and all that um so I don't know when it's gonna uh, the Huawei the Huawei one the Huawei the Huawei uh, Fold X is launching in China um on next month so like a month to when they did it recorded when it when it done to go live so that would be um the 25th um so the 25th and it going live for 2600 you 2600 pound with a 2600 pound the gather ifo is by 2000 pound so that's 600 pound apart so the gather if um and just before we talk about the new for them film i will go with the gather one because it, you get a lot more features you get gather but it actually got to work on android you get why you charge you get reverse wire charging you get all that and it just look like the better product and I'm probably I'm I'm probably a fanboy of Samsung devices I know I you can tell me that tell me that so um yes so I'm probably a fanboy you can tell me that and um and it probably good and i know that. uh but uh, a brand new film film seen it i it was sure on seen it um i i think seen it america and uh, now they filled in film instead of filling it like two way it for three way and it sort of broken up into three sector um into three screen in that a two screen now my first impression did it cool. my what i seen at the gallery for and what i spent with the gallery for i just want more though having the ability having the ability to go around my day to go around my day with a premium smartphone with a Primo and smartphone, with a Primo and smartphone, then sit, and then sit up on the couch and what and show them what YouTube video or Netflix or watching a YouTube video while I'm looking at Twitter or my email, or maybe sitting back and finishing some work and writing a script for one of the video for something or replying to email. Or even gaming. To be honest, I'm not so on. I'm not so on the idea. Of, with a folding phone, you get a larger screen for online gaming. And I, I'm not further than that. I don't really play mobile game. Until, until. I said it before, but until. I don't until. Some until the gaming industry agree with the idea of cross saying, cross production and cross purchasing, and play anywhere and um cross play. I don't think game streaming is gonna take off. And looking at Google, when you have to pay nine ninety nine to play on that server, and then you have to pay sixty pound game. Mm, I don't agree with that. I think. You, I think game streaming should be more of a citizen to say, hey, 
Mm, on the train, instead of playing the crappy mobile game, I could be actually playing some crew matches using a controller in my battle, using the in-screen touchscreen controller. Mm, and I said it more per time, but we will get it on when we talk about the review of the night like, Google Stadia. Um, when we talk about things like Google Stadia, so. You don't look too banged up. We, we will sort of get on that when we talk about it, so. Yeah, but for the info, um, for the info to me, I just don't. For the info to me, I just don't see. But, um, I like it having more screen than absolutely excellent, but to me, it's that price. And right now, a full film at 2000 G, a full film at $2,000, and the net full film, that's not even the further net full film. Ah something like two thousand six hundred pan when we all criticize the iPhone for being fifteen hundred and people can't even afford phone now with it like twelve hundred, fifteen hundred I don't agree on the price. When folding phone become like a thousand or below a thousand that one I would go, you know folding phone, that one I'll put it up and I'll and I go, yeah, I like you. I w want to play with you and I want to love you and be in that relationship. And you are my every day. So, um, yeah. So, um, we're going to, so that it for the tech and IT topic. And uh, for t technology and gaming, we're going to move on. Um, could it, we're going to move on to one uh, on the Guardian the Gamer podcast and the Guardian the Gamer show. Could it be we had the active sponsor? Um, could it be we know? Could it be we had the um, active spon um, sponsor for the show? And We had no current active um, store new and thin, and so we don't have uh, any current active thing for the store and the channel. So uh, let me on to gaming. So yeah, we're in the gaming topic on the Guardian in the game mature. So um, uh, let um let um sort of go in the gaming topic so before we started the gaming topic our prediction or what gonna happen break on your preview and the bun and the destiny 2 foundation so um the destiny 2 foundation so that our prediction uh for the gaming topic so um So, so, um, yeah, so, um, so, and the uh, inventory. So, our prediction for, um, our prediction for, um, the bridge uh, and brick on. People are predicting that, um, over what two? It, um, over what two? It gotta be a nan or. Um, or they're gonna be rethinking over. I don't think they would do over what I think they will make a cinematic version of over what like you know the cinematic story. I I talk about it on the channel, but you know cinematic story having a gameplay version and a gameplay um having a gameplay version and a gameplay element of that or the cinematic story 
Um, I think um, that will work. So maybe uh, you had the gameplay version and a cinematic story on that. Um, so I think um, they would do that and go here. You can, you can, you can here. You can buy it in a physical. All collectible edition for twenty nine ninety nine. The collectible edition will be something like two hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Something super and um completely ridiculous like that. And or you buy the digital version. If you buy the digital version, you can swap between the new Overwatch two point and yes. Yeah, so I think that. Um, and I think that, and then so, and then I think in the Overwatch title, um, but it, it will be the same thing. There'll be a ranking system, you can earn loot boxes, and it will share between them. And I also think there'll be episodes, so there'll be seasonal content. So maybe with the game, you get the first free season and more seasonal content. Any year, they would have a season with new episodes, like maybe. 10 episodes or 9 episodes um yes i think they would have that and it would be called the and it would be called the other what hero story and i think that and you can play co-ops in the player and i think i think over what the main game pretty sure i think they're gonna go i think pretty sure they're gonna go um I think Britter is gonna not go like. I think Britter is just gonna say, "Look, you know what? Mm, we're making Overwatch 2, but put Overwatch 2. Mm, I think Overwatch 2 is gonna be more like a software. I think they're gonna do a big update for Overwatch and just say it's so big and Overwatch is so different that we're calling it Overwatch 2 or Overwatch 2.0 or Overwatch." new edition and I think they're gonna and then in that panel they're gonna add a new match they're gonna and then a new map maybe a new hero so like hero 31 no hero 32 33 34 and 35 I think mm, over what you gonna Mm, because I do think mm, Overwatch is a good game, mm, but a turn of the multiplayer FPS game compared to games like Fortnite and COD and Battlefield and Destiny, where they get have free DLC, crossplay, micro transactions, stores. I think Overwatch is outdated. Mm, it had the old traditional loot box system where you gotta get back. It don't have mm, club play or club play map mating. A lot of multiplayer now, a lot of multiplayer game now have a free to play mm, element in them. So, mm, had a free to play element. Mm, it done. So, I think they did a time where Overwatch can rebrand itself and come back with a strong title. Because. I mean, Overwatch was a fantastic game. It was a phenomenal game. Um, and I said in my review, Overwatch changed the gaming industry for a lot of games. But right now, uh, right now, Overwatch is nobody play it. It kind of being defeated by Fortnite and by other free to play games. And in my opinion, in my opinion, and I just don't think that acceptable and that right. And I think, um, Overwatch will come back. Uh, what? Enemy claimed zone B. I think Overwatch will come back and, um, would do things so it would do like a store with item shop update and all that. It would do like swap playing, swap platform, swap possession. It would do competitively good, like maybe a new. It would do like maybe cousin game, the so, um like cousin game, but you 
like collect your uh, mo and your uh, ma maybe do the store this one so I can shot all day with a battle pad um um I think it sort of may have that impact and that event and it would do a store with item shot all day in order Sorry I let it by the way, I led the game, so sorry about that. Um and it would do the store with item shot a day. Um and crop play and crop project and it will it will it will and it would have a free to play element called over what new light where you can or over what overwatch where um where um maybe you have to unlock the character by ranking system and all that and only uh, on the map but i do think over what it had in a hard time again free to play game or game that had a free to play and i kind mm, i kind of see people in the over what community like mm, i don't your play over what hardly anymore but mm, that doesn't mean I don't follow it and I don't want I've been seeing in the overworld community like people freaking out mm, about they gotta rebrand it or do something and to me mm, I think mm, I think they're gonna I think the reason why we are getting something like overwatch 2 or 2.0 or Something like that. It because it's gonna be overwork, but it's gonna be re. It's gonna be different and so different and so rebranded that the only way to call overwork, the only way to send the new version of overwork, is by calling it overwork two or overwork two point zero. Um, so I think it'd be different. I don't know. Maybe they we play. Maybe they add a m more item shot or they where um, you can um any any day and any week a new skin you can buy for free. You couldn't. Uh, maybe there are new battle pass and so um, so maybe you can buy the battle pass for more cosmetic loot. Maybe they're gonna be. Mm, PTS or PTS it or um TT the tests of TTS yeah. and maybe they're gonna be done on console. Maybe it come into more platform like um Google Stadia and Nintendo Switch and Acra. We know we can into Nintendo Switch. Um, we know it can enter Nintendo Switch. Um, so I just think mm, when mm, I just think when people say mm, I just think I just think when people say over what to and think about it, I just think like Blizzard or Blizzard. Or, or whatever they do. I just think what they're gonna do is they're gonna um, call it Overwatch 2 because it's Overwatch, but it got the bit update and it free us so big mm, that it'd be silly not to rebrand it and sort of put you out in the market. Like, mm, I, I, because it'd be silly to not. Mm, do the bit of day and then you call it Overwatch and people will think oh it Overwatch mm, I would rather play Fortnite or Call or Dungeon but I think if you bring all the bit of day and if you bring all the bit of day and call it Overwatch too mm, then people would actually purchase it and pick it up and go where well, it been rebranded and mm, it will be the same Overwatch. Mm, it will be the same Overwatch, but more, more Overwatch to more and better and bigger Overwatch to play what play Overwatch. Mm, but for people who play other games, not had a chance to play Overwatch. Maybe they were getting in Fortnite to other 
any of the Fort and um, Fortnite to all and all your friends were playing Fortnite and it was sort of like you wanted to play over a lot but why would you pay £30 for a game and all the for loot boxes when Fortnite is doing free to play game club? Maybe you gotta go, you know what? Maybe it is. It's gonna be over what new and familiar and it's gonna be more of a what better for the people what play it. And, but then it also gonna be new and rebranded for the people what. But I love what to see Bridger doing. Like I said, I don't actually pray over what now. Mm. I don't actually pray, uh, actually pray over what. Mm. But it's always fun to go back and say, mm, I remember when I used to play it any game, and it used to be the big game back in my old day before Fortnite. So, um, yeah, that, that I think. And then all the users to like new animated short, new map, new game mode, and all that were coming brick on and mm, I think mm, over what mm, I think they're gonna call it over what two or two point oh or something different because it, because they're making big changes and they're using that mm, to get people playing the game. So yeah, maybe I might do a video on my prediction of what I think over what to Maybe I'll do that before next week, but break on in next week. So yeah. But I think I think like you 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 to what over what century. They now renamed that for Bridger. I think like um over what century being renamed to hit down because they want a photo on more be again and it'd be weird to call whatever the net bridge again their new channel they wanted to rebrand because they wanted to do bigger and better fit and re a newer audience by newer IP again I think that what over what I done and bridge and bridge needs some good PR some good work in the community at the what happened two three weeks ago Maybe um, I can't win. But um yeah. And then the next topic I forgot that in the dock. But lot of new tubers are leaving Twitch TV to go join Mixer. Um So uh, Ninja went Doctor Divis back when Doctor Divis back when and now Doctor Divis back when now um I can't remember his name. Who is his name? Sha. Yeah. Sha uh, um, in uh, leaving to go join me. Now, that you don't know, Twitter being the big streaming platform for a very long time. For a very long time. Um, since, like, Xbox 360, PS3 day. Um, or even before and Mitch can okay along get all the YouTuber money and yeah. to be honest at first when they were all doing it I was like well why do you just stream on YouTube trip and Mitch and then you make three times the money uh, but n now that I look into Mixer, it's actually a better platform than Twitter. I think Twitter is kind of logic weighing, um, at being sort of being not a gaming platform and gaming, it started as a gaming platform, but I, because the only real life streaming platform and it's better than whatever YouTube will uh, whatever new to live content is it bigger and better i think twitter kind of loved the idea or did it a live streaming platform for it to gamer and more hey they're new to you want me to call this stuff why do you watch it for a lie and you can i think we just took the lead Need to uh, mix it sort of like here. You know what? 
We don't want to complete with shit and all that. But all we want to do is put gaming back in to life gaming fuck. Um and I think Although yeah, I don't see on mix on mixer because I don't want to ruin the fan base that I got and I know a lot of people use Twitch and setting up I don't but uh, I was thinking of uh, streaming alongside Twitch so bringing mixer and YouTube alongside of the gaming and more for the guardian the game mature so if you want to watch it or make it or quit on no YouTube, no. you can. Um, but we don't know. But I just don't. I, the reason I, I have been looking into it by switching over, but I think the reason why I am uh, because I I got a very small community out of ten people that like me switching over. And I just don't have the time we saw to look more into it and to quit yet. But I think it might have song made the right move. Because they got money to pull in. I don't think. I think it might have song got the right move to pull into this. Um, and they could do a lot of better with. It's better to compete with Google because what Google is doing with Google Stadia integrating YouTube and Google Stadia um, and Google Stadia I think if they, if they in Mitchell does that with Aircraft they could literally and the Aircraft basically it up and they not know I didn't know they could get a better they could do it bigger and better because all the YouTube trick no mixer in our life in our life so anything it happened in a real time it happened in life why why uh, for mixer why YouTube is pre-recording so it it's been on that like, whole idea of interacting more with the, with the user and getting to know the user more quicker and more reactive. And I think they could do what Google is trying to do with Google Stadia and YouTube and linking them together. But my user can do it just a bigger and put it up. And I sort of think YouTube and Twitch because not only does you, not only not only I'm not ditch I'm not ditching YouTube or Twitch or thinking about ditching them to be honest I'm more thinking about adding Mixer into my formula and sort of live streaming Mixer along try YouTube and Twitch but I think they're owned by Two big company like YouTube, Google, and Twitter, Amazon, and two big company been too big headed, been too like, um, been lot a lot of money, and when you got big two company, what the end goal is to get bigger and bigger and make and get bigger money, and then open lot a lot of company. I think that's your bad work, and I. E no, might as a light to it and light me to a two. E no, might as it owned by one of the bidded tech drawing company. Um, do might as well. I think might so in and why that? It's because they got TX spot and TX spot in more about for the game. Um, more for the gamer and um, more and I think my Israel can put it all right and mm, the real reason why I think my Israel is doing all the now is not just because they want a piece of the pie and they've seen what Trick can actually do 
It, because they can, they know what the good. They thought that our idea, but they can, and they see that a lot of gaming YouTuber a lot, and a, a lot of YouTuber and a lot of gaming YouTuber don't like the like the like me to write at the moment and I think my is other go look we can do what Google are doing but do it bigger do it better do it more for the fan but also at the same time remember why we're doing this for for money for rather and I think Google I think, like I said, might as well make the next spot can do this. Try a bigger X spot is a far bigger gaming platform than Google would ever be in five in five year. In five year, I think, and I think Mitch can really pull the gaming can put it apart and. To wreck the gaming industry. And can really, and can really like, show, can really like, um, can really like, um, like, win the war and win the battle. They got the, they got the infantry. I just think, they, they got, I just think they got Charles, they got Ninja, Doctor the Rich, but I don't know who the on Mitchell, but he was thinking about going to Mitchell. You've got to hold those zones. Um, I just think time, if they get two or three more big YouTuber, and it, if they two or three more big streamer, then they get and then they get 40 or 50 litter screamer and quarter the up and go here and go here not only in a better platform but also integrate it with at sport more and integrate it with um at cloud or at spot or at spot cloud they integrated with that more and go here Google did it what you should be doing. I think it will make the gaming in the reshape a little bit. Because Ninja and Tra especially Shark, they are really good play. And they are really fun and really interesting to watch. Um more Tra and Ninja. And I can't wait for um ATT and Sha to team up and do that. Um, still waiting for that video, but um, yeah. So I think they're teaming up. So um, yeah, and I think might as well. I think if we wait mm, three or four months, Mitchell, we would all understand why in a minute. Because, because at the end of the day, Ian and Mitchell can make, Ian and Mitchell are not only making a ton for my all, and a ton for us, but, and Ian did all for money, there had to be some sort of the Ngengo. And I think, mm, did Ngengo in matted and bit, and I can't wait for what. And, I hope, I hope, I don't know, they, they, they will admit, they will, it will not only become a live streaming platform, but it would also become a video platform, mixing the two ideas together. And I think that could, so I, should I bring my idea in a bit? But yeah, I think it can come together. So that is the end. Um, for the gaming topic. Um, and yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare are long, but we're not gonna really talk about... Oh, we gotta talk about one other thing, the Bungie Star Nation. Um, yeah, we'll be live streaming it, making a full video, uh, getting the lower YouTuber and a lower 
and the bungee divert to the live stream you can donate an amber so they got to be the further and the call is really fun get involved with it get acted and it for charity so yeah bungee donation but i got a certain video so go watch that and uh before you go i wanted to take a moment to represent the project so i posted about it on the body in the game the media group page um and um um and i pull about it on my personal instagram which a lot of you might not see um or might see i don't know whether you're a personal friend or not but watching it but by here though an youtuber are planting trees um and i'm not gonna be doing it but i'm gonna be sitting inside and helping them Especially the tech community, like Lina Tech Tech and all that. The planting tree and all that. So I donated, I think, five ten dollars I can't remember. I put it on my one of them. So I donated money to them call and I might donate some more money. Planting tree and, you know, it's a good call. This is what I believe in. I judge the first, um, but... Planting tree uh, is just a good thing to respect their idea, help them, and support them. I'm mainly supporting RTT because uh, they're trying to raise 19 million, 19 million. Or I don't know the RTT or the whole society. I think it together they're trying to raise. 19 million pound and five and eight hundred eight thousand and eight hundred thousand and fifty five dollar uh to branch tree and really hurt them so pick your youtuber whether dr dewey whether um mid the b pick your youtuber pick your size Go into that video they made. I think they all made set a video about how they're gonna plant trees. Find the tactic said he did it the tech way and he really did. Pick your side. Get that video and get your parent bank card or your bank card. And you hit the note with money. I gone for the five ten dollar because that was on there but I think it literally at one dollar a month. One, one, literally at one dollar donation will plant one tree, and then five will plant you five, and ten will plant you five, and ten will plant you ten. So, yeah. But, um, for me, I, do, I will be supporting the call, um, and I won't be supporting the call if I didn't believe in it. And I wouldn't be supporting a call or charity or an event that I didn't believe in it. And I do believe in it. Not because I'm, not because I'm one of them geography save the planet. Because I believe in the call and we should all believe in the call. But if you don't believe in the call, so don't need to it. But if you do and you don't mind the call, pre donate to it. And if I try, I will try and set up my own donating page so you can donate and then that will donate to the challenge. So yeah, please. So that is it for the Guardian in the Game of Podcast. Remember, then the um, TGTG Stormy, then the, then the Bont and the Super Chat, no advertisement. So yeah, thank you for watching the Guardian in the Game of Podcast episode 6 and I will see, and we will see. N next week for episode 7 by us.